good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have my wwe fast lane 2019 predictions coming at you guys you guys know how these videos work i'm gonna run through the entire card for you guys breaking down each view breaking down each match what i think of the match who i think is gonna win where the storylines could go and all of that good jazz in between but to be honest with you guys i honestly don't think we need wwe fast lane they literally make you say wwe before fast lane can't just be like fast lane it has to be wwe fast lane so just putting that out there. But on this match card, I feel like it's so predictable, guys. I just feel like there's a lot of stuff on here that's bland. I mean, I'm for one, you guys know me. I love Kevin Owens. I'm super happy that he's back, and I'm excited for him to get this WWE Championship opportunity. I have been completely lost on the SmackDown WWE Championship WrestleMania picture, but now, I mean, I, I can sort of see how it's going to go. Beings that he replaced Kofi Kingston, are we going to see Kofi Kingston on this show? Very big questions going in, but I think that uh, we're, we're going to get Kofi Kofi at Mania. But anyways, I'm not that hyped for this show, guys, to be honest with you. I mean, they're, like, we're getting another Shield reunion, which we'll get into. I mean, we have some just wacky matches, and, and then we have some people left off the card, which, I don't know, man. We'll, we'll get into everything in between, guys. But let's go ahead and get started on my WWE Fastlane 2019 predictions. Before we get into the card, guys, let's just talk about something right now. Samoa Joe is the new United States Champion, and Finn Balor is the Intercontinental Champion on Raw, and neither of these men have a matchup on the WWE Fastlane card for 2019. We're on the road to WrestleMania, and neither of these men are on the pay-per-view prior to the show. We're like 30-so days away from Mania, and neither of these men have a matchup on this card right now. I can tell you this, why not just have them go out there in the middle of the show and go one-on-one, -on -one, and that shit would be amazing. How about that? Neither mid-card championship is on the line on this show. Pretty, pretty freaking devastating, man. Congrats to Samoa Joe. Super glad my boy finally got a U.S. title. Finally got a championship gold around his waist besides the NXT title. And of course, you guys know my boy Finn Balor rocking the IC title from the Elimination Chamber. Can't wait to see where he goes for Mania, but had to add this in here, guys. Uh, this show is missing these two badly. So starting things off with the kickoff show, guys, we have Rey Mysterio taking on Cien Almas, or Andrade, I'm sorry, it's Andrade now, they dropped the Cien Almas, I, I like calling him Cien Almas, but anyways, we have this matchup right here, this was announced later on on WWE's Twitter that this will be on the kickoff show, very disappointing, these guys are definitely going to lift the kickoff show up because they're going to tear the house down, I hate that we're getting this match though, you know, we've seen it so many times on SmackDown Live, and I think that what this, what this feud really needed was some time to break breathe. You know, they went at it so many times on SmackDown Live. Let it breathe a little bit. Let it simmer. Uh, even get a U.S. title involved and then have these guys kick it off WrestleMania weekend with a one-on-one -on -one matchup to open WrestleMania 35. I think that would have been a much better way to do it. They're not going to do that. Maybe they'll be feuding going into Mania. Maybe we'll get a ladder match if you, if for the U.S. title at Mania. I don't know what they're going to do, but I would have much rather seen this match at Mania on the main show instead of the kickoff at Fastlane. But anyways, I'm going to go with uh, Andrade. I'm going with Andrade. I think he needs it here. Rey Mysterio can put the young man over. Next up, guys, we have a triple threat tag team match for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championships between the champions The Revival, Dash Wilder, and Scott Dawson Aleister Black and Ricochet Taking on Chad Gable and Bobby Roode, and honestly, there's a lot To take in on this, um, you know, we saw The feuds going back on Monday Night Raw, I think That Ricochet and Aleister Black, they did pin The Raw Tag Team Champions, The Revival And then, of course, they had their match for the Championships themselves, and it was interrupted By Bobby Roode and Chad Gable And honestly, this is probably going to be on the kickoff Show, that's why I'm covering it second, I can see This being on the kickoff panel there but anyways, there's a lot of stuff to take in with this matchup because the Revival, I felt like, you know, it's about time. They've been complaining to creative. You know, it's been rumors about AEW and leaving and all this BS. And they finally get the Raw Tag Team Championships, and then they lose to DIY. They lose to Aleister Black and Ricochet. So it's like they haven't really been given an opportunity with the championships because they keep losing to NXT call-ups and random stuff like that. So I, I, I feel for that. I think that's why they're going to win this matchup. But another thing that I want to add is that Aleister Black and Ricochet Ricochet, I want them to have singles programs going into WrestleMania. These guys could easily have one-on-one -on -one matches going into Mania. We don't need them in the tag team championship picture. I know they're in the Dusty Rhodes Classic. I know they're doing their thing down in NXT, and but uh, but I, I'm pretty sure, I know they're still having the NXT handle and stuff and everything like that, but I, I think that uh, they, they need to have one-on-one -on -one matches, man. They need to have their own feuds. They need to be, I don't know, their own brands. I know they've been on both brands. It's just been really confusing. I know they were brought up randomly. 
it's just a lot of crazy stuff going on, but I mean, I guess this works for now, but I don't see them winning the Raw Tag Titles here. I'm going to go with the Revival retaining and actually having, you know, a defense under their belt and actually winning a match, you know, their first match, their first W as Raw Tag Team Champions going with the Revival. Next up, guys, we have the SmackDown Live side of things with the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. The rematch between the Usos taking on The Miz and Shane McMahon. Of course, The Miz and Shane McMahon dropped the titles to the Usos at Elimination Chamber, I do believe. And this is their rematch here for the championship. I guess Shane McMahon wasn't talking about himself when he was talking about, you know, no more rematches. I guess he didn't include himself in that. He, he wants his rematch for his titles here. But anyways, I think this is obvious. I think the Usos are going to retain here, leading to a Miz. Miz versus Shane McMahon match at WrestleMania that I don't really think anybody really gives a crap about. You know, I, I really don't think anybody cares. And uh, this is going to be where we see Shane McMahon and The Miz break up. And we're going to see the Usos taking on maybe a fresh tag team at Mania or something. I don't know what they're going to do, but it looks like the Usos are going to be stuck on the kickoff panel again because I don't see in the next 30 days or so, whenever Mania is, I think it's like 30 or less days, 32, something like that. I doubt they build a you know good enough program for those men to make it onto the main show. So it looks like it's pre-show bound for Mania for the Usos again, but they will be carrying the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships with them. Next up, guys, well, this is this is pretty weird here, but we have the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships now between the Boss and Hug Connection, still hate that name, Sasha Banks and Bayley taking on the team of Nia Jax and Tamina, who I think are two of the worst talents in the WWE all alone. I think that they literally hold zero value. Nia Jax more than Tamina. I think that Tamina is just uh, probably one of the worst talents just ever. I, I, I just don't like her character. I don't like her work. I don't think she's talented at all. Nia Jax is in the same boat. I, I know that she's a heel and everything. You guys know how I feel. Anyways, getting into the matchup here, I think there's no other way for this thing to go than for Sasha and Bayley to retain these women's championships. You know, they just got them. This is their first defense, and I think they need to win here. Here. There's no doubt about it that, that, you know, they won, which was the right move. And the second right move will be to retain the championships versus Nia Jax and Tamina. There's no reason in the world for her to lose those titles, uh, for them to lose those titles now. So I'm going with the Boston Hug Connection to retain their championships. Next up, guys, we have the SmackDown Live Women's Championship between my girl Asuka taking on Mandy Rose. And I will say that uh, over the weekend or the, over the past week, I think it was Monday night, actually, at a live event, Asuka was dropped on her head by Mandy Rose, and they actually had to throw the X up and throw the match out. Luckily, she did not have a concussion. She didn't have any, you know, la uh, like ligament damage or anything like that in her neck, so she was completely okay. But that is a scary situation considering Asuka is the SmackDown Live Women's Champion and one of my favorite women and overall talents in the entire world. So I think that, you know, it's very important to keep her healthy here. I think that she's going to retain, you know, they kind of treated her like trash, having Mandy Rose, you know, roll her up or whatever that was on SmackDown Live. But uh, I think she's going to win here. I think she needs to win here, go on into Mania, and then win again. I think she needs to hold this championship for a while. Considering how WWE booked her like crap last year, this is their way to make it up. Keep that championship on Asuka and ride it until someone actually worth a damn can come up here and take her championship. Maybe Ember Moon or something? I don't know. Bring her back on SmackDown Live. That'd be interesting. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have everyone's favorite feud, the six-man tag team match between the Reunited Shield for the 862nd time. Dean Ambrose, my boy Seth Rollins, and the returning big dog Roman Reigns taking on Trash Corbin, Drew McIntyre, and Bobby Trashley. I'm sure Leo Rush will be out there as well. But there is a lot to dissect here, guys. First of all, are they going to come out in the tactical gear, even though Dean Ambrose clearly burned his tactical vest in front of Seth Rollins' face and said the shield was dead to, dead to him, and now and now he's going to just come back and get in here? I don't know, man. I, I, it, this thing is built as the last, last time ever. Hope to God it is the last time ever, guys. Every single time these guys get back together, it's it's forced, and it's just brought all of it down. It's been ruined multiple times. It's, it just hasn't felt natural. It's been really forced and it just hasn't been good stuff but one thing I can say is I'm very much looking forward to Roman Reigns entering return. I'm excited to see the pop and, you know, everything like that. Hit some spears, whatever. That is pretty much all this is. You know, this is a throwaway match. Uh, Seth Rollins is trying to bridge himself to Mania. Maybe Dean Ambrose can, I don't know, maybe the Shield wins and then Dean Ambrose reveals himself again and maybe attacks Roman setting up a Mania match, which would make sense. You know, he attacked Seth Rollins on the night he announced about his leukemia returning and everything like that. You know, laying down the Universal Championship 
that could fuel their little feud there. Uh, Seth Rollins, I think that uh, I, I was really worried, guys. On Monday night, I thought that Roman Reigns was going to insert himself into the Universal Championship picture. They do not need to do that. If they force Roman Reigns down our throat again, the fans will turn on him and will be in a vicious cycle all over again. If they let it be natural, they don't force him down our throat opening Monday Night Raw every single week. Um, I, I feel so bad for Drew McIntyre, man. He deserves so much more. I could see him having, you know, like we were so high on him and everything, and now he just he keeps getting thrusted into these freaking teams, man. Get him away from the teams. Let him go dominate as a top heel on Monday Night Raw. But anyways, like I said, there's so much to digest here. I mean, where are we going from here? Hopefully, this is just, I, I know what this is going to be. I just hope it's nothing more than just one last time ever. Have your shield bumps, have your triple power bomb, have your W right here on fast lane, and then move on from the shield forever. And uh, hopefully that's what they do here. But I'm going to go with the shield. I think it's pretty obvious. That's just what it's going to be. Hopefully it's just one, two, three, shield, power bomb. Ooh, I did, did a spear, Superman punch, Dean Ambrose, Mean Machine, Dirty Deeds, Kurt Stomp. You get the point. Uh, yeah, let, let's get to Mania. Let's get Mr. Rollins' his Universal Championship. And uh, let, let's let things naturally flow. Next up, guys, we have the match that's probably going to main event WWE Fastlane, but we have Charlotte taking on my girl Becky Lynch. Of course, if Becky Lynch does win this matchup, she will be added to the match between Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania in the main event for the Raw Women's Championship. There's so many things. I mean, there's just, again, there's so many things to talk about here. Uh, Becky Lynch, she won the Royal Rumble. Does that not mean anything? Does the Royal Rumble mean anything, ladies and gentlemen? My God, she won the Royal Rumble. Why the hell does she have to go through all these obstacles just to get to Mania? She won the Royal Rumble. That's it. There shouldn't be these it's suspensions and the knee injury and the, she should be in the main event. She won the Royal Rumble. They need to keep the prestige of the Rumble. They need to hold up that end of the deal. I feel like everybody just forgot about that. But um, I feel like WWE is overplaying this knee injury and the suspension and the lifts and everything. It, they just, I don't know, man. They're overcomplicating the hell out of it. And I just think that they have, uh, they've kind of butchered it a little bit. You know, we've seen Ronda Rousey and Becky Lynch already interact with one another. We wanted to hold that off until Mania. There's just so much, man. But I, I'm just ready to get to Mania. Becky Lynch is going to win this match. Knee injury and all, I don't care. She's going to win this match. There's going to be a triple threat at Mania. And hopefully Becky Lynch pins Charlotte pins Ronda, I don't care, Disarmor, I don't care. Becky Lynch is going to walk out of WrestleMania 35 with that Raw Women's Championship and it shouldn't be any other way, but it starts here at Fastlane with her defeating Charlotte and getting into that main event. Uh, it, it won't go any other way. Maybe we'll see Ronda interfere. I don't know what they'll do, but uh, Becky, Becky's winning this thing unless it ends in DQ. Then Becky will get inserted into the match later. I don't care. Becky wins. And the last match that we're going to talk about here today on my Fastlane Predictions, guys, is the WWE Championship match between Daniel Bryan and my boy KO returning to the ring here for his first one-on-one -on -one matchup since returning to SmackDown Live. Super excited for this. I think we're going to get a great match out of these two. I mean, it's Kevin Owens and Daniel Bryan. What do you expect? One thing going into this matchup is uh, who's going to carry the title into Mania? Are we going to get a triple threat? Is a certain New Day member going to get involved? Is Big E and Xavier Woods going to get in there? Who knows, guys? A lot of stuff coming into this. Is Eric Rowan going to get involved? I think that Daniel Bryan's going to retain the championship, maybe leading to a triple threat at Mania. Maybe a one-on-one -on -one with Kofi, getting Kofi Mania, and maybe Kofi even walking out of WrestleMania 35 with the WWE Championship. One thing I am certain of is that Kevin Owens is going to wrestle a great match here, and he totally should. He's working with Daniel Bryan. It should be great stuff. I'm excited for this, but for the main overall feel of the show, again, just doesn't feel very special. It just feels like we really don't need this show at all. I think we could do without it. But I'm going to go into it with an open mind. I'm going to treat everything, you know, open and fresh and whatever. And we're just going to see what happens. But that pretty much does it for my WWE Fastlane 2019 predictions, guys. I would love to know yours down below. Comment down below what you thought of my predictions as well as your own. I, uh, again, am not most likely looking forward to this show, but I am going to go into it with an open mind again. Usually when I don't really think much about the pay-per-views, I go into it, you know, not expecting much, then I'm not let down, and, and they it, it, they usually turn out better than I expect. But one thing I have to say again is why the hell is Finn Balor not on this card, and why 
why the hell is Samoa Joe not on this card? Your, your brand new Intercontinental and U.S. champs left off this card. I don't care what you got to do. Even give R-Truth a rematch or something. At the time of recording, again, they aren't added to the card, so I'm not sure they may have been added by the time you're watching this. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.